key to Sean Watson went off yesterday. Back-to-back -back weekends of great football, threw for four touchdowns, ran for a fifth, a 57-14 blowout over divisional rival Tennessee, a pretty good team. After a slow start his first couple of games, Watson has turned it on. Big jumps in all the statistical categories the last couple of weeks. Whitlock, are you ready to say Deshaun Watson's the real deal? Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's slow down here. I believe RG3, Trent Edwards, Cade McNown are some rookie quarterbacks that threw four touchdown passes as rookies in a game. I, I think this is great. I, I, I want some further evidence. I can't wait to zero in and catch a full game of Deshaun Watson. But it's a rookie quarterback. And, you know, let's let's let the season develop. Sounds like they call Tennessee sleeping. Clearly, you don't score 50 some odd points in this league in the professional in NFL. But I like what I see so far. I'm not information. ready to call him the real deal, although I did like him on all the quarterbacks. Yeah. I kept pumping him up. I will say this, though. With a new CBA, remember the owner said we're not going to pay any more money, but you can take more practices off. Okay, it's hurt the offensive lines. There's a trend going on here. If you can move as a young guy, Wentz, Dak, if you can move as a young guy, it buys you time. Deshaun Watson yesterday made a lot of play, plays with his feet. And I'm not saying, I'm just saying if I was drafting a guy, Mitch Trubisky, the one thing I like about him isn't his size, isn't his arm. As he's engulfed with this new offense in the NFL for two years, he can buy space and buy time. So I think what I'm seeing from Deshaun is symptomatic of an NFL issue. If your quarterback can't move, you better have a great coordinator or a great O-line because this is the new NFL. Nobody can block up front. Well, you know who had a good defensive coordinator? The Titans, right? <laughs> Dick LeBeau. Yeah. He was 28-4 and four against rookie quarterbacks. Did you see what Deshaun Watson just did to him? Guys, Watson, I don't know how you can't say he's the real deal. He is on pace. It's three and a half games to challenge Peyton Manning's passing record as a, as a rookie and Russell Wilson. They both threw 26 TDs. But as Colin said, with the legs, he leads all quarterbacks in rushing yards. I mean, I, I think the big indictment here is Bill O'Brien not starting him after watching him all through, through preseason, all big practices, indictment. and he went with Tom Savage. Big indictment. Huge indictment. He, he only sat for a game or two. He sat him uh, for a half. Come on. How can you watch this? I mean, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Bill O'Brien is a joke. Come on. Yeah. Right, well, I mean, I, I think I think Deshaun Watson, the thing about him, which you got to love about this, this is a rookie, no question. He's got the feet. He gets out of the pocket. It's a great point you make about the mobile quarterbacks, especially nowadays, because, they're you know, the other guys are getting killed or sitting ducks. But – the thing with him is you got to love the way he's getting the ball to the outside receivers, the, the Fuller, the Hopkins. Right. I mean, that, that's critical because that's something that didn't happen for the last couple of years in Houston where nobody – they got this all-pro receiver and they drafted his kid number one and nobody could get him the football. Well, the thing is with Deshaun, he's got the arm strength to get the ball out there and he's also buying time because of his scramble ability. I mean, that, that defense, you bring up a great point. That's Dick LeBeau's defense. Yeah. And the week before was Bill Belichick. So, two I mean, guys who kind of know defense ones, but, a little bit. But the, but the thing is, both of them, uh, you know, they need a better rush plan. If you're going to rush a guy like him, you can't leave the middle of, uh, like Deshaun just running the ball right up the middle. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Let me give you something that helps your point that you'll love. I, I, I know someone who's close to Deshaun Watson. Yeah. There's not an ounce of Manziel. There's not an ounce of Cam Newton. This is an awesome kid. This kid is all in on football. He's very humble. If he has success, he'll be able to handle it. Again, when, when Dabo Sweeney called him the Michael Jordan of football, that was also based on, again, he wasn't analogizing to Michael J Jordan's character, but that was, also, that was based on this is as high a character kid as Dabo Sweeney's ever coached. Listen, Johnny Manziel had success against Saban twice. And I was out on Johnny Manziel because I just didn't think he was coachable. The thing I liked about Deshaun when he was in college, he came out and he said, I don't want to be a running quarterback. I don't want to be that guy. You know, I've talked to Michael Vick about this. When you can run in high school and college, it's hard not to love running. Deshaun ran in high school and college.